and that is hair I'm working on. But charcoal is a scent that I thought, I don't want to smell like the barbecue grill, you know? Coal. None of that. I'm not smelling like that, okay? Nobody barbecue grill. I'm not smelling like that. Oh. Hey guys, just here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing with you guys my charcoal scented shower routine. For those of you that are already a part of the family, I'd like to thank you very much. However, if you are not, what are you doing? Make sure you subscribe and hit the bell as well. So without further ado, and that is hair I'm working on. I will not hold you any longer. Let's go. So let's begin this adventure by showing off these products here. Charcoal based. Now, when it comes to charcoal, and I always start off here with Summer's Eve, the nighttime cleansing wash. But charcoal is a scent that I thought, I don't want to smell like the barbecue grill, you know? I, I don't want to smell like that. But charcoal... Ever since I tried the Caress Charcoal and Pink Lotus Body Wash, which I'll soon be getting into after this Yardly Activated Charcoal Bar of Soap. I said, you know what? I, I can dig it if I can find... <laughs> if I can find a matching scent, something else to layer it with. And that's been a couple months ago, up until recently. Then the Yardly Bar of Soap thank you lord <laughs> and then midnight poison the perfume oil that turned out to work out really great and be a really awesome combination together putting these together for the first time albeit i don't know what i was saying in these clips but you know i just figured putting this together for you guys I might as well have fun with it charcoal you could that's a scent that you could swing that's something where you can combine it with the more type of date night, special occasion, birthday, dinner, birthday occasion. That, there you go. You, you pair those type of scents with it. Something where it's like you don't wear the fragrance every day, but you start off with these charcoal bars of soap and, and body wash. I was ready for a date, but you know, I don't have a date and that's okay. It's okay, you know, because um, I can go out, okay? <laughs> now, um, here I'm just showing you guys, I'm always going with the top half of my body. As far as starting off showering everything and me acting up <laughs> bubbles and all and I just work myself from there as far as the routines concerned and I'm over here posing for the thumbnail but the charcoal scent really works really well the only thing I wish if there is a charcoal and pink lotus bar of soap now if caress has that going on because i know caress has a charcoal bar of soap but it's i don't believe it is charcoal pink lotus if it was charcoal pink lotus this would have made it even more of a charcoal scented it just made it better and so I'm going in here with the Midnight Poison. Why you ask? And I shall explain very soon. And I didn't bother with lotion because I didn't have anything to go with it. And, you know, I just wanted to just catch, get the essence of the whole charcoal scent without going too far left with anything else. And I am dressed. I'll see you guys on the other side for the next segment. Let's talk about this charcoal scented shower hygiene routine. To be honest, I did not know that I'd be doing this particular scent just because I, it wasn't in my mind at the time. However, 
after I reviewed Caresses Charcoal and Pink Lotus, I said, you know, I really wish there was something that could go with this. And it wasn't until I got a hold of Yardley's Activated Charcoal and Bar of Soap and also thought of a matching perfume oil that could finish off the rest of this routine in general that I decided to just to just go ahead and do it and go for it. That was my green light. Getting that bar of soap and the perfume oil to go along with it. Now the first thing I started off with was the Yardley activated charcoal. Now I have a review for this. I just did a review for this before this video. You have the essence of activated charcoal in this. You will smell it but it's a nice, clean, mild scent. So it's the smell of soap with the hint of activated charcoal. And it's black like charcoal, okay? Yeah, very, very nice. I mean, you know, would work for a man in your life if he likes charcoal type of scents and, you know, he don't want it to be pink and all these other bright cup that would work for a bachelor. I would, I'd like to think. That's what I would think. It's very classy, the way the bar is made. I have come across that of a channel where Axe, remember Dark Temptation? There's a bar of soap for that. Check the top right, I'll link you up there. Random, but yeah. And it's a black bar of soap for men. Axe, dark temptation, like chocolate. But back to this charcoal scented shower routine. After I went in with this activated charcoal bar of soap, I, I still didn't feel any type of dryness on my skin. Lather is really rich and it's creamy. I mean, it's so easy to lather. A kid can do it. And I could tell the difference between their bars of soap and the conventional top brands. No shade at all. Now, after I got completely clean, I'm going in with Caresses Charcoal and Pink Lotus. This is where a little bit of the floral action, the floral notes came through. And this is an addition to building up on the charcoal scent that I use with the Yardley Bar of Soap the Activated Charcoal. I've reviewed for this already. That yeah, done a couple months ago. And yes, there's a concern of this staining your shower floor or tub floor. I have not had that experience, but I'm just putting that warning out there just to let you know that that could be a possibility for you. Just like with the Rose and Lang Lang Oil the red crest one and that pink lotus really balances out the charcoal where i'm not smelling like a anybody barbecue grill where they put the um charcoal rocks coal none of that i'm not smelling like that okay nobody barbecue grill i'm not smelling like that it, it's refreshing absolutely love it now when it came to me stepping out the shower and now what scent am I going to use since I don't have any charcoal type of scents the closest that I could think of was this rendition of Christian Dior's Midnight Poison now if you're going to look for this online it's a very nice gorgeous blue bottle and if you know Christian Dior the poison the whole entire poison line I mean classic this is the perfect rendition of it. I have yet to try the actual bottle of it. One day I shall. But for now, this, this, the very notes that are in this, and I'll put the notes to this Midnight Poison on the screen to the original. This coupled with the Caress Charcoal and Pink Lotus, the Yardley Activated Charcoal, this was the perfect finisher for it. And if this is any indicator of how the original Midnight Poison all the perfume perfume smells, bring it on. This was the perfect finisher for it. 
I felt like I was ready to go out on a date. I don't have a date, but I'm ready. Okay, that's, I'm like, charcoal scent is impressive. I like this. It's such a beautiful, it's a special occasion type of scent. Once in a lifetime type of scent. You don't, you don't really find anyone really wearing something like Christian Dior, anything from the Poison line a whole lot. Unless you want to stand out and be one of a kind and not wear what anybody else is wearing as far as perfume. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is my charcoal scented hygiene shower routine. And until next time and until the next video. Brrr!